2018 Alfa Romeo Mito Review. The Good Points of Alfa Romeo Mito Distinctive Exterior Styling Strong Performance from Most Engines Turbocharged Petrols A Highlight Space for 4 Adult Passengers The Bad Points of Alfa Romeo Mito Firm Ride Coming from All Models Interior Plastics Take Time and Effort Diesels sap the fun from the jaw horse. High boots sill. The Alfa Romeo Mito is definitely an Italian mini hatch rival, a three door super mini with premium pretensions, sharp Italian styling, and many flair for that fashion conscious car buyer. As well as taking up the ubiquitous mini, what's more, it goes up up against the Audi A1, DS3 along with stylish super minis such the Fiat 500 and Vauxhall Adam. Interior doesn't match the outside. Despite the promising exterior, things turn into a bit more disappointing after you jump in the Mito. A harsh ride, poor noise insulation, not enough cabin space for storage and interior quality that fails to deliver of the standards of their arrivals all conspire to spoil the event. The many different plastics used through the entire interior feel cheap and low quality, same as the minor controls and switch gear. DNA driving modes. A key ingredient in the manner the Mito drives is its DNA system. It covers three driving modes selected by way of a switch ahead with the gear lever, dynamic, normal, and all weather. They alter the power steering, engine, and traction control settings, among other elements, along with the car feels markedly different according to which mode is selected. Engine response, as an example, is more immediate and dynamic mode that makes the steering far heavier. Depending on the point of view, it's the fun gadget or possibly a frustrating system which enables you wish Alpha had picked one optimum setting and tied to it as opposed to offering several compromised choices. Or, failing that, a fourth option that permits you to select your personal individual settings on the options available. On the main, though, the Mito is really a sharp little car to operate a vehicle with quick responses from the steering and well-contained body roll. It doesn't feel that is comparable to an Alpha should. However, it suffers having a firmer ride than almost all of the most direct rivals, which sullies the event somewhat. Model updates. Throughout its life, the Mito is subject to several tweaks to hold it fresh and up-to-date, that include with what's in the bonnet. A year after its launch Alpha raised the bar having its multi-air petrol models, Incorporating new technology which enables it run more effectively, the Mito was handed more power, lower emissions and improved fuel economy. There had also been the introduction on the sporty 170 horsepower Cloverleaf model, coming back of an iconic performance badge, which has since been discontinued. To say the Mito range operating its comings and goings is confusing could be an understatement. Fiat's clever two-cylinder twin-air petrol engine debuted in 2012, as featured inside the smaller 500, producing more power than its naturally aspirated alternatives and boasting much improved fuel economy claims and minimize emissions. In autumn 2013, Alpha announced a variety of updates including a touchscreen multimedia system along with a new version from the twin-air engine with 105 horsepower. The Mito also got a bit of makeup with many extra chrome detailing outside on some models, and black mesh on others, tinted rear windows plus a different finish for your headlights combined with new seat fabrics and dashboard color schemes. Latest Deals from Buayacar Alfa Romeo Mito TB Mulchier Call £10,450 Or £179 each month Alfa Romeo Mito 1.4 terabytes multi air 12990 pounds or 212 pounds monthly see all deals on Alfa Romeo Mito representative example representative APR of 7.9% borrowing 10509 pounds over 48 months on HP type finance just how much payable could well be 250 pounds per month using a total cost of credit of £1,483 and also a total amount payable of £11,992. Dennis Buaya Car Limited, 3132 Alfred Place, London, 
WC1E7DPGB 0915105-8 can be a credit broker regulated by FCEAFRN colon 667368. The verdict. Buyers who opt with the MITO over its rivals may be confident of possessing a car that's less common, more attractively priced and much better equipped along with more practical. Couple utilizing strong resale values and affordable lease and running costs and it's really clear that is the first small alpha in a really long time that draws both the heart and also the head. However, the inside with the Mito hasn't aged in addition to the outside, turning it into feel quite dated after you jump in the driver's seat, specifically when compared with the Mini. The driving experience also doesn't quite complement with the likes with the Mini or Audi A1. Should this premium super mini be on the shopping list? Watch the entire Alfa Romeo Mito hatchback review. Petrol dominated lineup. One frugal diesel. Something geared to most tastes. A array of feisty petrol engines the other eco-friendly diesel power the Alfa Romeo Mito. Four petrol engines from which to choose. It's very good news for petrol fans, because Mito is available that has a choice of four engines available. The range kicks off using a 78 horsepower 1.4 liter unit, that's only recommendable if you're purchasing a Mito within a strict budget, and you also only use it about. With a 13.0 second 062 miles per hour time and also a top speed of 103 miles per hour, it's probably none for on the motorway set for hours on end. A meager 115 newton meters of torque doesn't help whenever you want to overtake either. It's also the lowest amount of economical and least efficient model from the range, despite its modest power output. An ipier proposition may be the 875cc two-cylinder twin-air engine, producing 105 horsepower. This engine carries a really buzzy character it's much like a motorbike engine, that feels big-hearted as a result of a really growly engine remember this sounds like you're going considerably faster than you're. It'll go ahead and take Mito from 062 miles per hour in 11.4 seconds and on to a high speed of 114 miles per hour so it's still not essentially the most rapid engine, nevertheless it's considerably more economical versus the 1.4 find each of the figures inside the running cost section, and feels usefully more punchy on account of 145 newton meters of torque, a turbocharger as well as an eager nature. Providing more get a pango is really a 1.4 liter multi air engine, producing 140 horsepower and 230 newton meters of torque, utilizing a six speed dual clutch alpha calls it TCT automatic gearbox. There's no manual available here. It's best for a 062 miles per hour duration of 8.1 seconds along with a 131 miles per hour top speed, which makes it much quicker compared to twin air. The top spec Velos is powered using a 170 horsepower version on the 1.4 multi air engine, also exclusively employing a TCT gearbox. There's hook increase in torque to 250 newton meters, and also the 062 miles per hour time falls to 7.3 seconds, while top speed is rated at 137 miles per hour. Just one diesel option. If you would like diesel power on your Mido, there's just one choice as it's unlikely many buyers are going to be specifying an automobile with fuel coming through the black pump. It's a 60 minute.3 liter turbocharged unit, snappily badged JTDM2, offering 95 horsepower and 200 newton meters of torque. Accelerating from 062 miles per hour has a leisurely 12.5 seconds, and it'll go on to achieve 113 miles per hour in reality, though. It doesn't feel as slow since the figures suggest, nevertheless, you need to master your gear changes, it's simple to get caught within the wrong gear at low revs. Maximum torque can be obtained from 1500 revolutions per minute, but peak power is accessible at 3500 revolutions per minute. To get by far the most out of this mito you must rev it quite hard for instance on the motorway but also in doing therefore you're made conscious it's a diesel engine underneath the bonnet. Engines no more available. The 135 horsepower multi-air turbocharged 1.4 liter petrol engine which replaced a previous 120 horsepower version, 
offers lively performance with good lowdown pulling power. It will sprint from 062 miles per hour in 8.2 seconds and will be offering a great balance of performance and economy. Top on the range was the 1.4 terabytes multi-air QV Quattro Valvo, Italian for four valve with 170 horsepower. This powers the Quadrifoglio Verde model previously known because the Cloverleaf, the good news is called Velos, continue from standstill to 62 miles per hour in 7.5 seconds and on to a premier speed of 136 miles per hour, it's rapid enough however if outright pace will be your thing. You will likely opt for faster alternatives just like Mini Cooper S hatch as well as an Audi S1. The smallest twin air two cylinder pedal included with the range in 2012 with 85 horsepower. It delivers adequate performance, with 062 miles per hour taking 12.5 seconds, but it really has to be worked challenging to accelerate the Mito or even maintain a sufficient motorway cruising speed. Alfa Romeo claims that twin air can average 67.3 miles per gallon however you'll have to push incredibly gently for getting anywhere near that. To confuse things further, there was clearly two diesel engines available earlier within the Mito's life. First up was single 3 liter JTDM2 unit with 85 horsepower along with a 12.9 second 062 miles per hour time while there seemed to be a 1.6 liter unit using a more impressive 120 horsepower available. This stood a 062 miles per hour duration of less than around 10 seconds and offered strong and gear pace and good refinement. Sharp handling and alpha trait. Driving modes tailor experience. Firm ride and vague steering, though. The Mito is fairly agile but is dissatisfied a little by vague steering, no matter what driving mode you've selected. This is controlled with an electronic system suited to the car which Alfa Romeo calls DNA which represents dynamic, natural and all-weather. This enables drivers to toggle between three driving modes with assorted levels of responsiveness with a switch ahead with the gear lever. Holding the switch forward to get a second selects dynamic, which delays the intervention on the traction and stability control systems decreases the level of power assistance inside the steering to cause a firmer suspension setup. It's just a little more engaging for that driver but less comfortable than normal mode, as well as the steering feels very desirous to self-center. Pulling the switch back selects all weather, which ends up in a dulled throttle response and earlier intervention in the stability control system for better control on the vehicle in difficult conditions. The DNA system was revised slightly in 2012. Natural had been called normal, every time the automobile started it defaulted to the mode. Now, though, it remembers everything you had the auto in last time you drove it, and stays within this mode. In all modes, though, the Mito delivers tidy body control with little or no roll, as a result of that firmer suspension setup, plus the steering is quick to answer if with a lack of communication back in the driver. Aging interior feels dated. Taller drivers may struggle to have comfy. Plenty of it technology, though. What provides the Mito's advancing age could be the interior, it's not really as appealing since the smart exterior styling. Although there's a soft touch dashboard panel, nearly all plastics used are usually hard and unappealing, especially for the doors where you're prone to rest your arms and stay in contact with it. The touchscreen infotainment system, while all too easy to operate, is rather small and loathes it, as the dials could be hard to watch if you need to glance down quickly, particularly the speedometer with small digits as well as a fiddly looking trip video display in between the instruments. Visibility isn't a solid suit, either, with thick pillars obstructing the vista rearwards, but at the least the door mirrors are big and it's fairly simple to find a comfortable driving position. Supportive and cozy seats from the Mito. Firm ride upsets the piece. Some refinement issues, too. Comfort levels inside Mito are fantastic in some ways, but less so in other people. Air conditioning and electric windows are standard, plus the seats deserve special mention because of their deep cushioning, although they is usually tricky to alter owing to awkwardly positioned handles. 
Rear seat space isn't bad either certainly better compared to mini hatch although headroom could possibly be tight for passengers near 6 feet in height, even though the small rear windows make things feel quite dark. However, excessive engine, road and wind noise mainly across the pillarless doors is noticeable, especially on cars fitted with 17-inch wheels or larger. Ride quality isn't wonderful either. Bumps and jolts from the road surface making themselves known more keenly than we'd like, which will take the edge off the event somewhat. Not all drivers is going to be able to have comfortable, either. Many will find there's too little adjustment inside steering wheel, feeling too big for smaller drivers. The wheel also feels quite big with the size of car. Almido models are very well equipped. Even entry level designs include lots of kit several options packs to provide the alfa romeo mito is composed the following trim levels standard mito super specially and Velos. standard alfa romeo mito hatchback equipment rather handily the access point to the mito range is the mito it is included with 16 inch alloy wheels 5.0 inch u connecting flotainment system with bluetooth usb and o inputs DAB radio and voice control. Aircon. Leather covered gear lever and tire. Electrically adjustable door mirrors. 7 airbags. Step around super because of this extra kit. 17 inch alloy wheels. Front fog lights. Rear parking sensors. Cruise control. Front armrest. Passenger seat height adjustment with lumbar adjustment on both front seats. Cloth go leather upholstery. Chrome window surrounds. Aluminium pedals. For a rather sportier feel, the specially adds. 17 inch grey alloy wheels. Flat bottom tire with red stitching. Grey trim with the door mirrors and light away it surrounds. Privacy glass. Red brake calipers. Alcantara sports seats with red stitching. Black headlining. Sport styles with white illumination. At the top in the range may be the Mitovelos, with 18-inch alloy wheels. Alpha Active Suspension System, Adaptive Damping. You connect Nav Infotainment System. Twin Chrome Exhaust Pipes. Optional Alpha Romeo Mito Hatchback Extras. There are plenty of available options on the Mito, most of which have been bundled into packs. Sport Pack, Sport Styles, Front Fog Lights. Red brake calipers and tinted rear windows. Comfort pack, front center armrest with storage, lumbar adjustment for front seats, 12 volts power socket, rear parking sensors. Visibility pack, automatic headlights and wipers, electrically folding mirrors, auto dimming rear view mirror. Lesso pack, climate control, front center armrest, heated front seats, rear parking sensors, third rear headrest. Leather upholstery. Several in the options inside packs above are offered as individual options, but we'd recommend keeping the packs to acquire more kit at a lower price. 5 stars with the Mido. But that has been under old testing regime. No driver assistance tech available. The Mito scored a 5 a star rating for adult occupant protection in official Euro and Cap crash tests. The utmost rating offered by the time of the launching is included with electronic stability control as standard together with 7 airbags, including a driver's knee airbag. However, that had been under pre-2009 problems that were less stringent compared to they are now. For example, the Mito isn't provided with any advanced driver assistance tech for example autonomous emergency braking like many of the much more modern rivals. There are two ice fix points located from the rear, but families might have trouble with fitting child seats since the Mito is just available as being a three-door. Three-door body isn't probably the most practical. But there's more space compared to a mini hatch. Decent sized boot, but not easy to load heavy items. The Mito is available as being a three-door, so those thinking about one won't have practicality at the top of their number of priorities. Despite this, interior space is really quite good compared using its rivals, particularly the Mini, however it's still no people carrier. As standard, it's a four-seater, with plenty of room inside front and enough space for average 8 adults inside the back.
it feels more cramped if computer really is on account of dark headlining in most models and small rear windows, however it's still hardly spacious. A fifth seat might be specified at expense, nevertheless, you wouldn't need to be in that seat for days on end. Even if you're a kid. The Mito is really a small car, so that you won't battle with fitting it into tight spaces in the city or down small roads. However, your little friend amount of glass means visibility can be a little restricted, especially the back, but large door mirrors will help with maneuvering and parking sensors are standard on just about the entry-level models. At 270 liters, the Mito's boot is really a good size that's also square and deep. However, the loading lip is quite high which isn't particularly helpful if you're loading heavy or awkward items. It'll expand by folding the seats down, though the Mito is simply by no means an automobile to be doing regular car boot sales in.